Gordon wins it and Riggs is in for Tommy Baldwin's startup team that came down here unsponsored. Scott Riggs Look at is this. in the Look Daytona at this. 500. Yes! I am so happy for Tommy Baldwin. He just put this team together well, we about a, a month job, ago. Man. I really appreciate it. Guys, you got a good car here. Appreciate all the effort. I hope I made you proud. I'm proud of Scott Riggs. As you can see, he can attack, but can he get by? Checkered flag is out and ready. Morgan Shepard never seen one before in a super speedway race. Here is the checkered flag, and there is Morgan Shepard's first super speedway victory. And there is the celebration in Morgan Shepard's pit. And this was a quite unexpected accomplishment. Well, I tell you, it's been a long time coming. I tell you, I just can't hardly talk. I like to thank God. Thank Jack Baby for giving me the opportunity. And Jake Elder for being such a good chassis man. Let's have a look at the starting lineup for today's 500 miler. A big surprise. Joe Nemechek, one of the go or go home qualifiers. Front row Joe put in on the pole, knocking Tony Stewart off the pole and to second. Joe Nemechek, DW, you got a copy? 10 4, DW. Joe, you got a beautiful race car, National Day of Prayer. Got a lot of people praying for you. How much did you compromise the car for the race, Joe, to set on the pole? Uh, actually, there's not much. Uh, you know, the first stop there, we got to stop and put one belt back on the uh, front of the motor, which is going to hurt us a little bit on uh, track position, but uh, that's about it. I mean, we uh, what we have is pretty much race trim. Well, you sure were fast in the qualifying, and I uh, hope you can keep it up there today. Hey, how about nerfing up against that 20 car there? I want to talk to him, and I'll call you back and let you know what his strategy is here in a minute. 10-4, let me know. <laughs> to get fifth with what our sponsorship is for about one, or for the whole year, it's about what a top team gets in one race. So uh, to show everyone what we can do, I love it. Uh, I just got to thank uh, Fox for doing the special story of my mom and donation this weekend and the Xfinity Series, Jimmy, Donate Life, DB Sales, and uh, everyone teaming up with us. And uh, I just hope this will show people what we can do and uh, maybe we can get a big corporate sponsor on us and uh, help us do this every week. Joey Gase is worth his support, that's for sure. A victory for the little guy today. He finishes fifth. Look at this. 22 years ago, crew chief Philippe Lopez bought this T-shirt. It's a Terry Labonte T-shirt from when he first started. How did you save that much fuel? Well, I don't know. It, uh, we got pretty good gas mileage, but the car was a little bit too loose to really get after it pretty hard. So I was having to really ease into the, the throttle coming off the corners. And, and evidently, it was getting good to gas mileage, so I just kept doing that. and. Uh, Philippe told me to try to save gas, and so I didn't really change anything because I figured if I tried to save in gas, I'd just mess it up. So I just kept doing what I've been doing all day. Experience matters. Congratulations. A terrific run for Terry Labonte. Thanks, Dick, with Tim Fidoa, who's been looking for a ride. This was kind of a last-second deal, and you finished third today. Yeah, I didn't even know that we were going to do it until I got here. And uh, Fred Biaggi, Biaggi Brothers, man, they, they gave me an opportunity. We didn't know for sure if we were just going to run a few laps and pull in. After the big one, we figured, well, we'll go give it a shot. And uh, they, Kevin Pereira, Pereira's a good race car. Mike Wallace helped me out. Uh, everybody did a good job. The Pontiac run good. And, uh, hey, man, I'm just glad to be here. And uh, you never know in this business. I, I work hard at uh, being prepared when an opportunity comes about. And uh, it was there today, and uh, I felt like I was on top of my game and ready to do something. So. Now, I tell you, he'll have a lot of bologna burgers tonight. <laughs> he may break that record tonight. I don't know if I got up there or not. Uh, they've been frowning on that a little bit lately, but I think they'll cut him some slack. First time he's won a race. In the midst of all that, Steve Burns. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Yeah, Elliot Sadler. What do you think about that more? <laughs> <laughs> How did you win that race, and what does it mean to you? It means more than anything in the world. Uh, not, it's hard to win these Winston Cup races, even finishing the top ten. But Pat Tyson had a good call to stay out. Uh, we had older ties than everybody else. We had a pretty good call. Just one thing, everybody in Motocraft, Quality Parts, Ford, Air Force for really believing in us, seeing something in us that we didn't see. So, hey, we're so happy about this. I don't know what to do. It's good enough to win, boys. I tell you, we're in Victor Lane in Bristol. We get to go to the Winston. We're going to run the Winston in Charlotte. We're going to win that one, too. All right, go get them. We had more fireworks at the end of the race. Uh. But now, even in his own mind, Greg Sachs is the winner of the Firecracker 400. A major upset at Daytona today, and there are the people who pulled it off. They didn't work together more than a week ago, but somehow they put it all together today.
We're just looking to watch him out, not show him what we had. I'm sure he wasn't showing us all he had. So uh, we're looking to make it a run down to the wire. All right, your car carries no sponsorship of any kind. It's said to contain a lot of secret speed ideas. What might be some of them now that you've used them to win? Are you kidding me, Sam? Talladega is next. You guys are getting closer, but this must seem like a win. <laughs> That's pretty big, wasn't it, Matt? I mean, uh, I just can't say enough for Penske Racing Mobile One. I mean, the Mobile One folks have just been so supportive of this, and uh, we've been able to run up front every time we've been in this car for the four races now, and we brought home a second, and uh, I couldn't be happier. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I'd love to win this thing, but Jeff Burton actually had the faster car most of the day. You know, him and Rusty were probably the quickest cars out there, and uh, but uh, my crew did a phenomenal job. Chassis setup was really good. The Penske motors ran well. The whole entire mobile team and uh, my wife, Carla, and the kids at home, they fought through for a lot of this. You know, we've been through a lot of ups and downs this year, and it, this is kind of a little just reward. And it's my mom's birthday, so, Mom, happy birthday very much. And uh, phenomenal. We're here second in Phoenix. He's auditioning. A-plus job today, Alan. How about Gilliland uh, coming off with an upset to win the Bush race uh, for an independent team building their own engines uh, with no sponsorship? That is uh, extremely impressive. Mm -hmm. And Gilliland uh, has shown promise. We've, we've, yeah. we've all felt like he could run real well, and he's done well on the West Coast, but darn, I didn't see that happening. <laughs> Seven Bush races, and he goes out and beats all yeah. the Bushwhackers. Pretty big. And he's the first one. Uh, he's the first non-full-time cup driver to win a Bush race right. and, and they this said the year. First, the, and actually in a long time. It was, it, it was several races last year. They said he was the first Bush regular to win a race. I said, he's not a Bush regular. <laughs> he, a Bush regular still hadn't won a race. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, Which makes it all more remarkable. And $101,000 will help their operation. Martin diving down low. One final charge off the last corner. It's not going to be enough. Johnny Benson is a NASCAR Winston Cup winner. Johnny Benson, his 226th race, his first victory after finishing second three times, and he's going to take out the grass. <laughs> Man, I'm a rookie. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh my gosh. This is unreal. <clears throat> I tell you what, this red horse racing team is unbelievable. From the owner to the tire guy, everybody does their job. It's I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's it's a dream come true. 